Hey guys, I bought myself a new laptop recently, a uh, Dell Precision M4700. Um, unfortunately it didn't come with the awesome 95% gamut screen. Um, this one's just an LG panel and it's only a, around about 60% so I thought well it's a pretty easy thing to swap and it's not too expensive so um, I'll stick a new panel in. I thought while well, I'm doing it I'll show you guys how to do it yourself. It's a really easy thing to do. Um, the Precision laptops are made really well. There's pretty much no exposed screws anywhere. Um, on the underside it's one screw underneath the battery, one or two screws there and then the case just slides apart. Around here it all just unclips and then inside there's a couple of screws and the panel comes out. As for actually taking the bezel off, it is a really easy thing to do. Uh, there's no screws. A lot of laptops like the uh, my old EPCs that I had, they had little uh, rubber grommets and you take those little bumpers or grommets off and then they'll be screwed underneath. This one, it just clips off. You can get your finger under there and just start pulling it off. Um, if you haven't got fingernails, you can use one of these. Little spudging tool. This one's just one you get when you buy a new screen for your phone. I wouldn't use a metal one, just because it's an LC screen you don't want to scratch it. If you're worried about scratching it, and you think you might be a bit too clumsy, um, painter's tape, the uh, masking tape. Use a low tack stuff. This is low tack and long life, but the blue stuff is, is really common. You just put a strip of it along the top and down the sides, just so you won't scratch the screen. Um, if the screen's broken, it doesn't really matter. You just pull it out. But if you want to keep the screen like I do, because I'll probably keep it as, as a spare or maybe just on sell it, um, I don't want to damage it. So um, before we get started, I'll just shut this thing down. And while that's going, I'll talk about this panel. This is a new panel here. It's an AU Optronics, which is the one you want to get. If you go online, I got this off eBay, just because it was the easiest place to get them from. You've got to be careful because a lot of the sellers have it marked as um, a compatible screen or you you know a generic replacement. So you've got to make sure that the one you're getting is the exact AU Optronics part number. Um, I just sent a message. You just sent a message to them, and now will um, they'll confirm or or deny whether they've got the uh, actual part or if it's just a compatible. You don't want a compatible. This one here, where it focuses, um, you can see the part number just up here. I'll put this in the in the comments below. But you want that part number, which is B156HW01, and there's a version four. The version four is a matte screen. There's a version 7 which is the glossy screen, exactly the same but it's glossy. Any other version isn't going to be a 95% gamut. Um, the version 1, 2, 3 or whatever earlier ones, they're the 60%. Make sure you get either a version 4 if you want matte screen or version 7 if you want the glossy screen. I got the version 4 because I like the matte screen. Um, the glossy screen gives you a bit deeper blacks and a bit more vibrant colours but you get the glare from it and I prefer the matte because I don't like the glare. Alright, we've got this thing turned off. I'll just unplug a few things. And I'll pull the battery out just to be safe. Alright. Now as I said before, it's just a matter of pulling the bezel off. Around the corners it's a little bit more difficult but if you get your finger on the edge and you pull it this sort of way, it'll just come off. Just like that. It's really simple to get off. Now, I hold this up just so I don't have to take the camera off the tripod. The screw is at the top corner, down the bottom corner there, and the other side there and up here. Just a few screws around the edges, maybe those two there will, and then two there. And then the, that's actually a bracket which unscrews from the panel and that bracket then screws to the sides of the new panel. So we'll get this one out. Now when you pull this out, don't do it up like this and then take the top ones out first. Because what will happen is when you undo the bottom ones, the panel is going to flop forward. 
don't want to do that because the uh, the cable underneath the mylar cable is really um, delicate, and if you tear it, then you got to pull the laptop apart to replace that cable. So I'm going to undo the bottom ones first and leave the top ones to last so we can hold it, and then um, pull the thing out. Now the easiest way to do this is to lay it right back. Put a bit of plastic there so I don't scratch it. That way we're not we're not going to have that screen flop out too early. You notice when you're taking these screws out that the two on each side, these two and these two, are, are shorter, whereas the ones on the corners are longer. Make sure you don't put them in backwards. If you put the long ones in where the short ones are meant to go, you're going to have little dents coming out on the other side of the, the back of the screen on the on the outside of the case. Just make sure you get them the right way around. Long ones on the corners, short ones in the middle. All right, we've got them all done. And now the panel can lift up. Now I'll try and show you in here. You can see just down in here, this is the uh, the connection ca the cable, the ribbon. We've got to carefully separate that because they've stuck it down with a bit of double-sided tape. And then we can um, take this blue bit off, unplug it, and withdraw the panel. Be really careful you don't pull on the connector. When you pull the tape off. Alright. The connector pulls that way, like parallel with the back of the screen. Don't pull it up or you'll snap it out. It's got to slide along that way. That's the old one. There's the uh, details of that. It's an LG screen. Not bad, that one had no dead pixels whatsoever. I double checked that before I um, I pulled it off, pulled it out. Um, so yeah, that's a good panel. So I'll put that aside. And we've got the new one. Okay, we've got a film on the front of this to stop it from being scratched. So I'll just peel that back, just the edges. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to um, put those, the brackets on the sides. We'll do that now. See the, along the edges there, we've got the screws. There's four screws per side. Pull that bracket off. They're probably, yeah, they're, they're different on the top and the bottom. See, they six out further on the bottom than on the top. So make sure you put them on the right way. So um, when I put the screws back in, I like to put them in, but leave them about one turn loose. That way, as you put all the screws in, they all go in easily because the piece you're screwing down can move around a bit. Then I, um, once all the screws are in, then I'll, I'll tighten them up. Just means that there's no strain on anything trying to work it in. Get the screw in there when it's slightly offset.
All right, now we're ready to reinstall the new panel. Get that one out of the way. Get our laptop. Okay. Now remember these these connectors are really delicate, so just be careful when you're plugging it in. And use the uh, the bit of blue tape there just to hold it down with your finger, and then pull parallel to the screen. You also notice that where the screws are in the corner, there's little locating tabs. Let's see if I'm going to show you. Just at the bottom, underneath that screw there, there's a tab. Little pins coming through. Same at the top, at the, just above the screw. Just make sure that it sits on there properly before you screw it in. That way, it's going to sit perfectly square in the frame. And remember, long screws on the corners. Leave them a little bit loose to start with. Just so we don't put any stress on the screen before we've tightened it all up. Screen's in. Snap the bezel on. Alright and we're done. Easy as that. One screwdriver, that's all it takes. <laughs>